Urban Artifact is the plaintiff in a lawsuit against the state of Pennsylvania for what they allege is Commerce Clause violations. So in Pennsylvania, an out-of-state brewery can't ship any more than 96 ounces of a brand a year to anybody in PA, so like eight beers over the course of a year. And they do not impose the same restriction on Pennsylvania craft breweries. So how will that case come out? I mean, I haven't read the case, but I would have to assume that Urban Artifact's gonna win this one. There is recent Supreme Court precedent on this one, Granholm v. Heald, uh, 2005. And it basically, there was a law in Michigan that said wineries in you know Traverse City or in Michigan could ship directly to consumers, out-of-state wineries could not. Um, it was a Commerce Clause violation and they ruled you can let everyone ship, you can let nobody ship, either is fine, but you can't do one for in-state and one for out-of-state. So, yeah. I, I mean, a beer and wine are you know, functionally identical here. I mean, I can't possibly imagine it going a different way, but you know, who knows? And that's so like in commerce clause for, you know, non legal nerds, that's the basic premise of the commerce clause that you can't, uh, you can't treat in state and out of state commerce differently. I haven't read that recent precedent, but I think that conceptually this was decided somewhere around about 1810 or so. Yeah, and, and reaffirmed so. in 2005. Now, with this Supreme Court, who knows? <laughs> That's but, true. Uh, That's the, true. Yeah, I mean, Pennsylvania, though, uh, you know, if you look, so when we did the uh, 50 state product rollout for Four Loco, which RIP Four Loco, yeah. um, Classy drink. It sure was. <laughs> Pennsylvania and Utah were the two weirdest states for their regulations. Pennsylvania basically has a weird four-tier distribution system, and then yeah. Utah's Utah. 